Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. My name's Jamie and I'm from Morgan's Just Games. Today I'm doing an unboxing video. Now this was sent to me by James Roger. Now James Roger is a great friend and a great subscriber on my channel Morgan's Games. Now he basically said that he had a lot of games sitting at home he didn't have space for. He said, a bit of a tidy out, a bit of a sort out, and bless him, he doesn't have the space. So he messaged me and said, do you want them? And I said, absolutely. I said, how much? He said, nothing. You can have them. What a nice guy. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I have got space. I've made space. I've made sure there is space. So I'm going to do an unboxing today. A bit like the one I did earlier on in my channel where I unboxed 11 Amiga games. Now this is mostly C64 this time. There is a few Amiga games in here as well, but it's mostly C64 games. Now some of them I do own. But there's quite a lot of them I don't own, so this should be fun. So let's unbox it right now. Now James actually included a letter, which is really nice of him. It says, hi Jamie, here's a few games from me to help me clear out my room. Keep them, sell them, trade them, it's up to you. But I do hope some of them make it into your collection. Thanks for all your hard work on your streams. You have made Friday night a lot of fun. We all appreciate it and we all love you, mate. Your friend, Rusty James Jim. Thank you so much, mate. That's really nice. I don't know if that's going to come out on the uh, on the camera, but a really nice letter. Thank you very much. I do try. I do enjoy doing my streams and I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. Okay. Now, there's a lot in here I haven't played. Okay, so where do I start? <laughs> there's a lot in it. Right, there's a lot of games here. I knew there was. Right. Okay, in no particular order. Okay. Some of these I haven't played. Now, this is the first one I haven't played. This is called Scramble. Never heard of it. Came out in 1983. Released by Annie Rog Software. Never heard of it. In the year 2184, after years of constant bombardment, the planet Earth has been taken over by Cobrons, who now have departed but left the government of the country in the hands of its super intelligence command module. The defenders of the command module base are formidable. It requires a steady hand and accurate control to guide the fighter plane that has overtaken the suicidal missions of destroying the base. Now I'll try and get through all these on this video. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but that is the first one and I haven't played it. So there we go. Scramble. Unscramble the words to make the word scramble. 1983 by Daryl Etherington. So this is Scramble. So it's a side-scrolling shooter. I am some kind of spaceship. We have a fuel gauge. Three lives. And we have sectors. Now you get 200 points for those. 50 points for those. And there's also a mystery item. 100 pounds for those. Fuel. Right, you can't collect the fuel. Now, fuel you collect, as random as it sounds, by shooting it. Uh, fuel is highly flammable. But we have to blow it up to collect it. So, at the moment, I'm just shooting everything and anything and collecting whatever I can by blowing it up. So, fuel is fine. Fuel is good. Okay, now we've got a different colour. So, that is the first sector. Not really a lot to it. It seems fairly straightforward at this early stage. I mean, this could change. Let's change again. Now we have meteorites. I assume they're meteorites. Can we shoot the meteorites? It doesn't seem like you can. No, you can't blow those up. So we have to avoid these. Unless it's those things making the sound, but to me, it sounds a little bit peculiar on my headphones. I think it was just that level. Okay, so we have now four lit squares on the sector. Right, okay, I'm intrigued to see... Whoa, this is going to be tricky. Whoa! Look at all this fuel! There's loads of it! Just blow it up! Oh my word, now we're going through a tunnel. And I should be fairly good at these. I like games with tunnels. But then your spaceship is not 
the fastest spaceship. Okay, we have a little bit of a rest from shooting. Nice! So what happens now? <clears throat> that is so close! Can you get any closer than that? Right, for some reason, the fuel has stopped. I forgot to blow that up. I do want to blow that up. What a shot! Absolutely fantastic! Congratulations, Captain! You have completed your mission! Bonus 2,500 points! I'm quite pleased. Is that the end of the game? <clears throat> I think I've just completed it. Well, this is the first game of my unboxing of this 31 game. I've completed it my first attempt. Okay, the next game is called Chiller. Now, I've heard of it, never played it. Released by Mastertronic. Uh, the aim of the game, it is a dark, still night. The full moon is shining eerie and the atmosphere is electric. Your heart beats quicker. You are the jackal and you are metamorphosizing into a werewolf. You howl at the moon and she fills you with immortal power. You know your task and you will be loyal to the ghouls of Death Valley. Your aim is to rescue your girlfriend who fled in terror into a house of the undead. Can you save her before the demons of hell get her? Well, we shall see. You can boost your energy by eating mushrooms growing in the forest. Beware of those mushrooms which turn out to be poisonous toadstools. Your only chance of leaving the forest is by collecting all the magic crosses. The dangers multiply on successive screens. The second is a cinema on the edge of the forest which more ghouls await you. The third is a ghetto, the fourth is a graveyard, and the fifth is a haunted house where your girlfriend is being held captive. Collect the crosses. Eat mushrooms, avoid toadstools. Avoid the guy climbing up the tree, avoid the skeleton, avoid the spiders. Luckily, dropping doesn't seem to harm you. Okay, I've done the first level. Now we enter the cinema. There's a message. Okay, we're in the cinema. Whoa, the, the ceiling is falling down. Okay, so the ceiling is crumbling down. We have a lady that's carrying a tray, which I assume has got ice cream on it. There's people in their chairs. I just walked over their heads. Don't mind me. Hope you're enjoying the show. Right, we're back in the forest again. Let's have another go. Okay. Take it nice and steady. Now, there's no mushrooms here. But, you know, if you went to a cinema and the cinema had a, a roof falling down like this, you'd definitely want your money back, wouldn't you? One more cross to go. Look at my energy. It's terrible. Okay, we enter the ghetto. Save your energy. You'll need it. Look at it. It's poo. Where am I? I need a mushroom. Now, your health does not replenish at the end of each level, it seems. How mean is that? Magic cost is 10. Really? There's 10 on there? There we go! We entered the ghetto. Save your energy, you'll need it. Okay. Right, best go so far. Right, now we get attacked by birds. It's difficult. I mean, it's, it's not a bad little game, but it is very, very difficult. Trying to avoid the things that you're not allowed to collect is what I'm struggling with the most. Woohoo! Graveyard! The midnight hour is close in the hand. Your death awaits in the evil land. Oh my word, look at this one. Okay. Well, what is that? A cat? Possible cat? A zombie! Oh, that's a, that's a toadstool. There's a dog. Right, I need some energy. 
don't get toadstools. There's a guy crawling on his hands and knees. When you jump, jumping hurts you. See, I'm not jumping now. As soon as I jump, my energy drains. So, you lose energy by jumping. Next game is Silkworm. This is a brilliant game. I've played this on one of my streams, but I have to admit, I've played the Amiga version more, but I've never owned a proper case version, but I do now. Action packed is a very applicable term, and if Silkworm doesn't quicken your pulses, you must be in a coma. Tremendous sound, super smooth graphics, and finishedly addictive gameplay put this amongst the cream of the shoot 'em ups. Now, I'm a big shoot 'em up fan. For those of you that have subscribed to my channel, you will know that. But that is a brilliant game, Silkworm. Silkworm. The sales curve presents Silkworm. Jeep or heli player button. Okay, this is Silkworm. This is a good game. It's a really good game. However, I think this is probably more difficult than the Amiga version. I've played it once before today. That is it. And what makes this version a lot more difficult, in my opinion, is the enemies take a lot more hits to kill them. Including these things. They, they, they take, what, four, five hits? Very, very difficult indeed. Now we have this thing. This is how we get weapon upgrades. Now I'm shooting his head. His head keeps disappearing. They seem a lot easier to kill. I have to admit. See, these take so many hits. Right, the flashing background is the boss, which is a helicopter. Not much bigger than me, to be honest. But he's got a lot more firepower than me. And he died quite quickly. Well, so much things are different, some things are easier. Oh my word, they shoot so quickly. Whoa, that was close. Keep on the move, Jamie. We have robots. And again, so many hits. The CTG4 decided to up the ante with this game. I've always thought the Amiga version was very, very difficult. It is. This is definitely a lot more difficult than the Amiga version. It doesn't do anything. It hasn't made any difference whatsoever. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's made my bullets stronger. I'm sure it has. Because then I'm down with one hit. Ah, okay. What's that one then? Whoa, look at that. They are rapid fire now. Look at this. Now this is a weapon. Absolutely. That will make a difference. It has made a difference. They're no match for my super fast, double speeded, double strong powered bullets. Right, now we have the tank, which I haven't seen yet. Well, that was simple. He didn't even fire. There we go. That weapon is a breeze. Oh my lord. Oh, okay. Alright, have this thing again. Now you can't shoot backwards. Way uh, Whoa! Okay. Okay, stop firing now. Stop firing now. Ugh. Wow. That's so much easier. Yeah, a lot easier than the Amiga version. The only thing that is. That is Silkworm on the CC4. That is really good, but I think that's actually more difficult than the Amiga version. Tecmo Limited 18... 1988. Okay, the next game is Ninja. This one rings a bell. I think I've played it on the Amiga. Uh, released by Entertainment USA from Mastertronic with an original price of £2.95. I think I've played it on the Amiga, but not the CC4 version. He walks alone, ninja in the land of death, his timeless quest to rescue the Princess Dee Dee Pearl of the Orient, who is prisoner in the Palace of Pearls, and he must gather idols she has dropped to prove his worth. 
As well as Fists of Thunder and Feet of Iron, Ninja is granted a Slashing Samurai Sword, Spinning Death Stars and Throwing Daggers. But these weapons are also given to his fierce evil ninja opponents who guard the doorways and the idols. As he rises through the levels, his opponents multiply, his strength drains, but his resolution grows. Yes, I have played the Ninja version, that does ring a bell. Okay, this is Ninja. I have played this on the Amiga. I have. Right, so I should know what to do. Okay. Yes, I've played this. Now, Swedish House did say on that stream that he says that the CC4 version is easier than the Amiga. I had to collect the idols. Approaching. Now, that hole at the top, that caused a little bit of a problem when I streamed it because I didn't know you could go up the hole. Approaching shrine. So there's the idol. He's the guard, guarding it. And he wasn't even moving, so I just hit him. We went, <laughs> We've got one idol. Approaching the walkway. Approaching the red door, even though it's blue. And he can throw... Daggers. Now one good thing about it is you can hit them and then you pick them up again. So you probably could get away with just not actually hitting them with your feet or your hands. There we go. You can reuse them. We're going green with these weapons. Use them and then reuse them. Two, three. He's down. Thank you very much. On to the next one. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, not you. There we go. Oh. Oh, <laughs> a kick to the face. I hit him right in the chin. Okay, approaching top. Ah, okay, you can pick him up there. So you can actually take them with you throughout the whole entire game. Right, you're going to have to jump over there, because I'm going to fall down a hole. Or I'll just kick you right in the nose. There we go. That did him. Approaching the blue windows. I like what they've done. They've really thought about these names, haven't they? It's a room with blue windows. We'll call it the blue window room. Oh. Right, you guys are going to have to jump over here, because otherwise this is not going to work. Oh no, fell down the hole. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Well, there is Ninja. Okay, next game is... Aliens. Now I have played this, I owned it a very, very, very long time. Unfortunately I don't have it anymore, but I've got it again. Uh, released by Ricochet. Now this is very, very small text. Based on the science fiction thriller, Aliens, the computer game, takes you into confrontation with the most ruthless creatures ever to appear on the cinema screen. Your mission is to keep control of the base by any means, while keeping your crew members Alive, you command six crew members from the mobile technical command bay outside the base. You need to coordinate the actions of the six crew members. You are about to realise Ripley was right after all. That's incredibly small text, but luckily my eyes are good. But yeah, I have played that, but it's been years. Okay, this is Aliens, based on the film... Aliens. No, it's been absolutely years since I played this. Now, I can't really remember what you have to do. So, we are Ripley, believe it or not. See what I did there? Uh, okay, so, where is the aliens?
Now, when I played this in the very, very old days, I just, I was stuck on this same screen for seemed like a long time. You had to, how do you go into the door? Alright, I need to look at, I, I struggled with this when I first got this years ago. I didn't know what I was doing. So I need to read the instruction book. Doors can be sealed shut by blasting a, blasting the lock. However, if you want to go through them, you will need to blast away the whole door. The atmospheric outside the base is poisonous to humans. When I played this years and years and years ago, I, I didn't actually shoot anything. Um, I'm doing exactly what I'm doing now, just going left and right, not actually shooting anything. Now you can shoot the doors open. I don't know how you go through the doors. Ah, okay, you can get, right, okay, space bar goes through the door. Now, even though this is the second time I've played it, I've never actually seen an alien on this game. Shoot that. Shoot the door. Yeah, so blast our way through. Space bar, shut it again. There's something nearby. Possibly an alien? You know, my heart's gonna stop. Oh. That's not good. Ripley's in trouble. Ripley's dead. Oh. Now what? Right, now, ah, so you press G for Gorman, H for Hicks, B for Bishop, V for Fasquels, B for Burke. Ripley's dead. I want to shoot something. I just, I just want to see one. Alien! 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 I've seen one! That's the first time I've ever seen one. My goodness, I killed it. Oh, my word. Okay. I remember in the old days when I used to own it. I played it for ages and didn't just didn't know what I was doing. I was young. I didn't know. Uh oh, alien! Seen two now. Gorman, he's taking damage. I see you. You're in the dark. I can see you. That's what killed Ripley. Believe it or not. Blimey, there's loads of them now. Ah, okay, I'm getting somewhere. I'm actually killing things. Hicks has been eaten alive. Hmm. Probably got one of those face suckers on his face right now. Okay, Bishop. I'm not talking about a chest piece. No! We're dropping like flies. Okay, next one from the box is Outrun. Now, Outrun is a brilliant game. I've played lots of versions. Unfortunately, I've never played the CC4 version, but I will do. Uh, you're cool, the engine's hot, the girl is gorgeous, a tank full of gas and an open road. The rest is up to you. The ultimate driving experience, the absolute challenges to nerves and reflexes. Five action-packed courses to test your driving expertise to the limit. Beware, this baby's hot. Have you got what it takes? I don't know. We shall see. Okay, this is Outrun. Now, I've never played it on the C64 version. Now, it can't be any worse than the Amiga version. Surely. Because that was terrible. Select music for steering. We'll go for Splash Wave. Okay, this is the first time ever I've played Outrun on the C64. Now, I've played it on the Amiga, and it was absolutely terrible. Now, I have to admit, this looks pretty good. Not bad at all. It's, it's fast and furious. But it looks like a decent driving game. That's a beetle! What I just overtook there. Looks like a Ferrari to me. 
Yeah, I played the Amiga version for the very first time. Uh, it's it's terrible. In fact, I bought it as a box. I'm still gonna keep it because I'm a collector. Whoa! Okay, that's bad. You're getting told off by the blonde. I'm not surprised. That was one hell of a crash. You're supposed to be impressing this girl. I'm not proud of that start. Right, we'll go again. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this already. This looks really, really good. Just got to stay on the track. I'm not great at driving games, I have to admit. I'm okay with top-down driving games, but these sort of games, especially old ones, I've never been any good. But this is much better than the Amiga version. But it moves really nice and smoothly. Decent soundtrack as well. I just drove into someone's house. No wonder she was turning me off. I'm out of time again! If I didn't hit the house, I might have been okay. I'm determined to get past this first level and not be told off by the blonde. Well, actually, no, in this one, she's not blonde, is she? Like a brunette. There's four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. I'm out of time again! And I hit a bush! And it's game over. Why am I never. I'm never any good at driving games. I hit that same person's house, not once, but twice. Oh, there's the bottom of the car! Yeah, 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 I deserve that. I do actually deserve it this time. Well. <laughs> it's a good game, but my word, I'm not particularly good at it. As I've already said quite a number of times. Yeah. More work is definitely in order for this. But it's good, I like it, I think it's really good. There's so many, this video's gonna be huge! Right, next game is Gemini Wings. Not heard it. Never heard of it. Released by Tronics. Get ready to shoot and blast your way through wave upon wave of organic mutants in this super conversion of Tecmo's brilliant arcade game. It's a shoot 'em up. That's all I need to know. I love shoot 'em up, so I look forward to playing that. Okay, Gemini Wings by Tecmo, 1988. Never played it. I have heard of it. The Glory of Wings. Now, Tecmo is the same people that did Silkworm. Okay, it's a shoot 'em up. I like shoot 'em ups. I do. I do. Absolutely, I do. I love shoot 'em ups. Okay, it's. Yeah, I like playing shoot 'em ups with sound effects. I mean, music is always a bonus, but I've always liked to have music and sound effects. Right, now. Levels, I think it has seven levels. Whoa, this is very, very... Whoa, hey, yo, that was a crazy start. Right, we have insects. We have, I don't know what they are. They're firing at all. Yeah. Right, these spikes on the side of the wall don't look all that good. Okay, so we are a plane. We are a waterfall. Music's change. Does that mean a boss is approaching? What is that? What is that? What is this thing? So we're on a waterfall. So this is the boss. That's not a very long level. What is it? A turtle? Give me a tortoise. A flying tortoise. Right, now this is the weapon I've got. I haven't picked up any weapons yet. Whether this is the only weapon you can get, I'm really not sure. It could be. It's dead. Okay, each level has different music. Now that I do like. Whoa, okay, we have these eyeballs. We have... Blimey. Yes, this is a challenge and shoot em up. <laughs> whoa, whoa! One hit will kill you, it seems. Blimey, so much activity going on. Now I keep collecting these tokens, I don't know what they do, they're not seem to be doing a lot. 
I've played some really, really challenging shooter ups in my life. This already is very, very challenging. It's early stage. No weapon power up as yet. Uh, how do we get weapon upgrades? How do we activate weapon upgrades? How do we get weapon? Oh, I didn't know we did. Okay, you hold the fire button down, you activate that. Okay, we do have weapons. Right, now these enemies are actually on the case. The front of the case. That's a deadly, deadly, deadly shot, that. Right, we do actually have auto fire, I didn't realise, but we do. Watch out for that laser. That's a deadly laser. There's one down. Ah, oh, and me! I died too! Well, this came out in 1988. Yeah, this one has slipped my... Whoa! This one's passed me by! I have not played this, but way. Crikey! How difficult is this game? I like it! Challenging! But yes, it does need in-game sound effects. My thumb is hurting already. Ouch! Okay, level 3. Now I quite like this, but this is tough. This is a challenging, difficult shoot -em up But I do like a challenge. Possible future long play, but might need a little bit of practice on this one. So we're going through, whoa, some kind of tunnel. There's enemies on the side, there's... I couldn't get out of that! There was no room to move! There we go. <laughs> Jamie, why are you still playing it? It's an unboxing, it's not a, it's not a long play. Level 4. At least we've got a lot more space this time. More space to move, I still don't have any weapons. Blimey. I can't even scratch my nose! How am I going to... I can't compete with that. They come behind. Spiders? Excuse me, Tecmo, where's the weapons at? Blimey, that is a difficult shoot 'em up. Absolutely. I'm top though. Wings of Glory. The glory of wings. Okay, next game is Renegade by the Hit Squad. I don't own this one either. Now, this I am sure I've played in the old days. This game must not be missed. Loads of fun, Crash Magazine. It's hot, dangerous, and yours for the beating. Yours, Sinclair. Tremendous quality and strength action. Now, I do have Target Renegades. That one I do have. The streets aren't safe. That's not good. Night falls swiftly as you make your way through the most sinister part of town to collect your girl. It's always girl who's got rescue, isn't it? So far, so good. Your train pulls into the subway station, alighting. You realise that you are not alone. The station and the streets above are infested with thugs and villains. That's not good. Time is short, so you must negotiate these areas to meet your girl as a range. Quick thinking and martial art skills are the only abilities you have to depend upon, and you disembark knowing that this is going to be the most da uh, dangerous walk of your life. We'll see about that, won't we? Okay, Renegade came out in 1988, published by Taijeto American Corporation and developed by Technos Japan Corporation. Credit score on Moby Games was 72%. Now, I'm sure I've played this at some point in my life, but not the C64 version. Now, when you see it, you automatically think Vigilante, Double Dragon, that sort of thing. Now, I'm getting beaten up already. Right, okay, so we can do flying kicks, punches. Um, my, play my player is dazed. He's on the floor, he's knocked out, he's unconscious. He's out, out for the count. 
Blimey. Okay, once they've grabbed you, you can sort of kick out of it. My word, I'm not good at this. This is the first screen. I can't get past the first screen. I'm punching them in the face, but... Right, okay, as soon as you punch one, kill one, or defeat one, or knock them out, no one's on the scene, but at least no one's got a stick. Blimey. Now, I've got Target Renegade. I don't think I have played this. If I have, it's definitely not on the CC4. I would remember it. What other moves does he have, apart from laying on the floor? If this is a game about laying on the floor, I'd be very, very good at it. Right, he's dazed. Just you, my friend. Punch him in the face. Right, he's dazed as well. Who's this guy? This is this a boss battle? No in-game music again. <laughs> well, I'm getting somewhere, but I'm running out of time. You don't get a lot of time. Come on, JB! Just punch it one more time in the face! You're out! You're down! I can't believe I actually got past the first level. That was extremely difficult. We have music! Music is very short supply. There we go. <laughs> I can handle that. Punched him in the chin continuously. And I fly kicked him in the face. As far as his glasses didn't come off. Yes! Starting to get the hang of it. Look at that. Look at my health. Not only that, I've got 57, 56 seconds left. He's dazed. he got stars above his head. I don't know what it is, but these guys remind me a little bit like Casey Jones and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or Hero Turtles. Right, now I'm getting hit by a stick, I'm dazed. I'm not surprised, someone hits you in the head with a stick, you're going to be dazed. Right, boss, look at this guy. Yeah, I've got you! I've got you now! Oh, yes. I'm kicking him in the chin. Kicking him in his beard. First time! Whoa! Oh. Right, this game was released for the Amiga, the Amstrad CPC, Apple II, Arcade, Atari ST, DOS, NES, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, my word, it's gone a long way, Sega, and Master System, Thompson, MO, Wii, Wii U, ZX Spectrum, Combined View. Go over to the wall, I'm safe by the wall. Because that way, there's not one on each side. One hitting me in the back of the head, one hitting me on the face. And, uh, yeah. Come on, JB. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Just punch him in the face a few more times. He's dazed. He's got stars above his head. Just punch the lady in the face. I'm getting the hang of it, but it just doesn't have enough time. It needs more time. Look, boss battle already. Whoa! Can we talk about this? There's three of them then. I wonder. There's three of them. I've got two people and a boss. Well, I'm definitely making progress. I'm now top now. There we go. First place. Took a bit of time. I got there in the end. Okay, next game is... 180, which is Dart, believe it or not. Released by Mastertronic. Not played it. A opponent, digitalized speech, two player option, live joystick control, full match play scoring, a sense of humor, superb playability. What more is there in life? Buy it. Or be given it by an awesome guy. Okay, this is 118. They don't have to be the shinish coin in the fountain to know that that is darts in my book. Master Sonic came out in 1986, programmed by Andrew Rootledge. Oh, we're playing round the clock. There's me. Ah, oh. right, around the clock. I now know. I was trying to get triple twenties. It's round the clock. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Now, I've played around the clock in real life. 
And the rules that I remember is if you hit a double, you skip the next number. Hit a triple, you skip the next two numbers. Now, I don't know if that is the rules. I don't know. At the moment, I'm on 10. Time is ticking. My word, you've got to be so accurate and quick. 12, 2. I'm going to do this. 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, that missed the target. That loses quite a lot of time. Twelve. Where's twelve up there? Where's thirteen? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, come on Jimmy! Yes! I've done it! That's all it is to it, there isn't anything else! Right, me against an opponent, finally I'm actually playing against somebody. Okay. Not the best start, right, I'm finally getting somewhere, now I'm playing against an opponent. What did he get? Well, I'm in the 60 club. Ah, uh, lost. Of course I lost. Playing this game again. All right, 20 double top. Boom! I won one. One one. I want to get one eighty. I want to see what happens. One hundred and forty. Bust. Right, double four, Jamie. Double four. Boom! That's two in a row now. I beat him. I beat that guy. We got the tackle tail, the mega Mike, big belly, but. Big Billy Bill, the opponent into the city fires Devious Dave. Yeah. Look at this guy. His belly is exactly the same. His body is exactly the same, just his face is different. He looks happy, doesn't he? I want a 180. There's a good start. Come on, Jamie. Yes! I've done it! I've done it! I've done it! I've done it! I got 180! Woohoo! I'm happy now. Uh, right, so. 60 leaves 60. So 20 double top. 20. Oh! So check out that was. I can't do it in real life though. Wowzers! The best I've ever got with three darts in real life is 140. I did it once. She's still pumping up beer in the background. Right. Ooh. Confidence is high. Confidence is extremely high. Two and double top. Come on! I'm getting a hang of this now. I can't do it for real in real life. Tentacle Tell, Mega Mick, Biggie, Big Billy Bill, Jammy Jim, Del Boy Dex. I can't read that in time. Jimmy Jim. Jimmy Jim. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this guy. He's a lot thinner. That's Jimmy Jim. We're in a different pub now. A different bar. Is this the final? Can't be the final. 
Oh, he won that. My word, that was a breeze. Not too shabby. 361 left. Triple 20. Triple 20. Triple 20. He's got 180. Show off. No one likes to show off around here. <laughs> what a response! What a response! 60. 60. 60. Got 180 again! That should leave me double. Mm, so 10 double 20. Oh, I lost! I lost! I lost to Jimmy Jim! Okay! Next game is Nightmare. And I have to admit, I do have this one released by Ricochet. However, I'm not keen on it, but I will keep it. And the reason why I'm going to keep it is because I've got this one. Now, this one is actually signed by Trey Guard himself. I met him at Play Expo in 2018. So this one I don't want to use. So now I'm not, I'm not going to. I'll use this one instead, but I'm not going to get rid of it because I'm a collector. Now, the game is not great, but however, I'm a huge fan of the program. It's my favourite program of all time. Welcome to the game. This is the time to end time. This is the time out of mind. This is the game out of time and the game to blow your mind. Not a great game, but we'll try it anyway. Nightmare is my favourite program of all time. Unfortunately, this is one of the worst games I've played in my life by Activision. It's not great. Never mind. It's been a long time since I've played it, but let's see how we do. Welcome, watchers of Illusion to the Castle Confusion. I'm Traegar, the drunk... I need a drunken master. <laughs> he's not the drunken master, he's the dungeon master. Welcome, watchers of Illusion to the Castle Confusion. I'm Traegar, the dungeon master. Your quest to seek knighthood begins here. So let us turn a page in time and see what lies within. Survival is your aim. Knowledge is your target. Good luck. Now this game I bought a very, 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 very long time ago. And when I played it for the very first time, I couldn't even get out of this screen. I just didn't know what to do. Now this game could have been so much better. I mean Nightmare is my favourite programme of all time. It always has been. And when I saw this game in the shop, I just had to buy it. And I, yes, I actually bought it with my own money. Um, but I just, I was so disappointed with it. Drink, drop, eat, give, hit, inventory, load, look, open, quit, save, spell, take, take. I want take. I mean, it takes a lot of time just to pick something up. There's got to be an easier way than this, surely. Take, take, take. Take. Right. Take. Look, open, quit, save, spell, blah, blah, blah. Now I've gone past it. There's got to be a simple way than this. There just has to be. Take. Right, that's T. Take. Right, take. This is the same screen, I, I just couldn't get out of this room in the old days. I just couldn't do it. Right, I've, I've picked up food! Woohoo! I've got food! I've picked up the food! Right, okay, we're getting somewhere. I've picked something up. Gold? There's no gold in there. Ice? There's definitely no ice in there. Knapsack? I should be wearing the knapsack. The locket? No. Met Metamorph? What is that? No, no, take. 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 Rock. 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 I've got the rock. Bingo. Okay. Now what? Pheasant meal. You waste your time. Oh, I don't 
don't like this game. I never like this game. Knapsack. Right, I've taken it. I've, I've got. I've got the knapsack. Hey, I've got a knapsack. Now what? No, 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 no. Ask. A. Press A. Enter. No. Ask. Ask. How do I ask? door. No. Ask dungeon master. No. Ask executioner. No. Ghost. No. Goblin. Ground. Ask the ground. Ask the guard. Ask the hole. Ask the king. Merlin? No, that's not Merlin. The old man. Ask the old man. I am old and will waste away. Well, doing what you're doing, you probably will. Uh, right. The old man. Right. Use the magic spade. Use it one time only. So it gives you a spade. Right. So now you've got to pick it up. You can press P. Press P. No, T, take, 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 and then you've got to find it. Right, find the spade. All this is to pick up a spade. Spade. Right, I've got the spade. Now how do we open the door? Open? 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 No, open. Door. No, not open the dungeon master. No, open. Gold, hole, knapsack, old man. Open door. Woohoo! We've opened the door! We've gone through the door! We're in another screen! What have we got now? What is this thing? Every room looks exactly the same. The only difference is there's no old man walking backwards and forwards. What is that? Uh, look. Open the old man. Door? Perhaps you need your eyes tested. Ha ha ha. What's open a door? No, dig, no. Dig ground. Dig, dig. Right, we're digging. Use. No. Right, my health is draining. Your health is a candle. There's this... I'm getting killed. I'll throw a rock at him. Use. No, throw. 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 Yes. Throw. No. Anvil. By the time I find it, we're dead. Oh dear, it appears that your nightmare is over. Well, I'm not surprised. Okay, next game is... <laughs> is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And I didn't realise there was a game for it. I had no idea. So that should be quite interesting. I love the film. It's great. Oh my word. At least... At last, sorry, the computer game to surpass all others. You have been screaming, crying, begging for it, and at last it is here. Monty Python with chips. You will encounter fun as never before encountered in the zany humour that only Python can give. As Sir Tapping, you must go in search of the Holy Grail. Many fearful and hideous things await you. The three-headed knight, who has a lot on his shoulders. Hick, Lick and Nick, each in search of their own quests, and their brother, Sick. To be avoided at all costs for obvious reason. Yuck. The terrain, the landscape, plagued by evil, blood-curdling creatures, the white rabbit, for instance. You may laugh, you may scoff, but this rampant killer is explosive, literally. So, Sir Tappin, find your steed. Stay steedful, steedfast. Seek, search, and submit the sacred, secret sacrament to Camelot. And for God's sake, stop talking to that stupid lisp. May the rabbit be with you. There's a lot of information there. That will be fun to play, I reckon so. Sorry, my reading is not great at times. But there was a lot to read there. Right, by CN and RR, the quest for the Holy Grail. 
even though it was spelt wrong the first time. 1985 by Apex Software. Press any key. J. Eaglesoft is a loser. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Right, okay. It's one of these games. I've never played anything like this, but what springs to my mind automatically is the film Big with Tom Hanks. That's the opening scene. Right, okay. So I'll put the joystick down. I don't need it. Right, you are in a blacksmith's forward. Visible exits are west. You see a nuclear-powered lamp, a yellow-green spotted key, a CNT nut. The CNT nut is lying next to the nuclear power lamp chanting, We shall, we shall not be moved. Right, okay, so you've got to make a decision, but it's based on typing. I don't understand key. Pick up key. Pick up key. You don't understand pick. This is like playing Nightmare again. West? You travel west. You are in a village street. East. East. You travel east. You are on a long country lane. Nice. You travel east. You are in a dark gloomy forest. Visible exits are northwest. You see nothing. It's very dark here. Oh, give a light, mate. Light? You're not carrying a lamp. Okay. Okay. You travel north. You are in a clearing by a huge wooden door. Camelot Castle welcomes you. Do they now? Hello, Camelot. I told you to bring the lamp, but you didn't listen, did you? So I'm now sending you back to the beginning for not paying attention. So I lost. Oh my word. You look around. You are in the Backsmith's Forge. Right, okay. The nuclear powered lamp. Right, pick up lamp. Pick up lamp. You don't understand pick. Lamp? Don't understand lamp. Nuclear powered lamp. What do you understand? Take key. Right, you take the yellow green spotted key. Uh, take lamp. You take the nuclear powered lamp and the CNT nut walks off in a huff. You are in a stinking black forest. Right. We have to pinch our noses, that way we can't smell it. Visual exits are north east, you'll see nothing. Well, go east. It's a smelly forest. Are we through the smelly forest? By a river in the forest. Where's the castle gone? I've lost, I've lost track of the castle. North. You travel north. You are in the village street. Okay. The visible exits are... Oh dear, I'm afraid... Eugene didn't like the way that you just trod on that Imagine advert. He pulls out a worn, looking Vic-20 and batters you to death with it. This wouldn't have happened if you had been... LB... Elbisivini. I can't say that. I can't pronounce that. Next game. I don't understand, next. You, you don't need to. I'm doing the next game. I still can't see the bottom of the box, but this is fantastic. This is brilliant. A big thank you to James. Right, classic. Double Dragon is a classic. Now, unfortunately, I used to own it, but I don't own it anymore. But I do now, so thank you, James. 
beat and slash like you've never done it before. It's a cracker. The story so far, Double Dragon is the story of two twin brothers, Billy and Jimmy Lee, facing their odds together in the city where survival can be learned the hard way. Their knowledge of the martial arts combined with experience of tough urban existence has made them both formidable fighting machines, ready for any challenge that comes their way. Brilliant. You cannot go wrong with Double Dragon. I have to admit, not all versions were good. The Amiga version I didn't particularly like. But I used to own it, but I'm glad I got it again. Okay. Double Dragon on the C64. No in-game music. Well, I might have to do something about that. I might add some. Right, okay. So, one enemy. We had three lives and one, two, three, four, five bars. Now, I used to own this a very, very long time ago. I don't know what's happened to it. It went astray a long, long time ago. Anyway, I've got it again. However, the version I had was a big box version. Like I said, it went astray. Okay. So you have your punch, you have a kick, and I assume you've got a, a headbutt, which is what he's doing, and yes, the elbow. Yes, I might put some music in this. If you've already listening to it, I've already done it. It needs music. It really does. It's quite a quiet game. Even with me talking over it. Now this is where the guy breaks through the wall. Whether that's going to happen, I'm not sure. So when you hit them, they don't fall backwards. They just fall immediately flat down. Now, Double Dragon is one of my favourite all-time arcade machines. The only other version I've played other than this is the Amiga version, which was absolutely terrible in my opinion. That's my opinion, anyway. I used to have Double Dragon on the Xbox 360, but unfortunately, Xbox Live removed it. Now, when I moved my hard drives from my old 360 to my leaked, I lost it. I lost that game. Couldn't believe it. Right, is this the boss? Doesn't seem like a boss, but this is where the boss should be. He's not as big as the boss should be. He's in the right place. Perhaps he is the boss. Kick him in the face, JB. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the chin. This seems to be the best tactic, because I can't seem to get continuous punches in, or continuous kicks. Every time I try to go in for a second kick or second punch, I'm not flat. So... Let's do it like that. Seems to work. Double hit. Hitting them both in the chin. They're chitty chin chins. Now we do have music. You only get music at the end of the levels. Level two. Oh. Where'd they go? They disappeared. Those two people disappeared off the face of the earth. One minute they were there, and now they're not. So that's, only, that's certainly an easy way of killing them. Now in other versions, when you hit them, they fall backwards, which is handy because you can send hit them so they fall into uh, pits. Because they just go like that, they don't actually can do that, so. Well, I'm making progress. One life left. Wanted. There's the bad guys. Wanted? That says zero, doesn't it? No money. I just fell in the water. I fell in the water. I can't believe that. I fell in the water. Next game is... Manic Miner. Now, I've got this twice, actually. So this is actually my third one. Am I going to sell it? No, I'm a collector. 
Can you get past the poisonous pansy, spider slime, and violent robots to mine the valuable metals and make your fortune? Now, there's actually a long play on my channel of that, so please check that out. But I will test it again and play it again for this video. Manic Miner, starring Miner Willy. Press return to start. Okay, this is Manic Miner. Now, this one I do own. I've owned it for a very, very long time, but I have another, I now have another one, and I'm going to keep it because I'm a collector. Now, you play as Miner Willy, and this is the Central Cavern, which is the first level. Now, I've done a long play of this game. It's on my channel. Please check it out if you haven't already. Now, you have, I think it's 20 levels. Each done by a single screen. And the object of the game is to collect all the items and then get to the exit door before your air runs out. I've collected all the keys. As you can see, the door is now flashing. So we have to get to the door safely and securely. So avoid the robots, avoid the evil bushes, avoid the slime, collect all the keys and then we move on. Any remaining air is then converted into points. Now we're in the cold room. Now this cold room has penguins. Avoid the penguins and we have to collect what I thought they were called tennis rackets. That's what I said in my long play. But apparently they are ice lollies. Even though they look more like tennis rackets. But we'll go with lollies. So we have to jump over the penguins. Now Manic... Sorry, Manic... My, minor Willy, Jamie, get it right doesn't have any weapons. All he has is walking and jumping. It's not his fault, that's all he's given. Now we're on the menagerie. A word I struggled when I long played it, but I think that's how you pronounce it. Now we're back to keys again, but this one has flamingos. I assume they're flamingos, it could be swans, it could be geese. Whatever they are, Avoid them. Right. Now this floor breaks underneath you. But you need to keep moving. All the time. Falling too far will kill Minor Willy. Running out of air will kill Minor Willy. Now the abandoned uranium workers. They are seals. And what do seals do best? They balance balls on their noses. They're not really much of a threat, they're out of the way, but this is quite a jumpy jumpy sort of level. But you've got to be careful because a level like this can involve falling from too far. If you fall too far, you'll die. Also watch out for the spikes on the ceiling. And this one you've really got to plan your route well. And the door is at the top. This time you have to jump into it. The door is airborne. There we go. Jump into the door. Right, this is Eugene's Lair. Now this is an unusual level because there's toilets. Now these toilets can kill you. Now Eugene, I'm assuming, is that character in the middle going up and down. Now this level is quite tricky because you got to time it well for a number of reasons to avoid Eugene at this point and avoiding him when you collect the final item when you collect the final item Eugene will flash and he'll drop so you got to make sure the last one you collect is the one closest to the exit otherwise you're going to drop down and you're not going to be able to get to the door but this one is quite time consuming which does require some really close jumps. So avoid the toilets, avoid the weeds, and we're going to go and collect this final one. And he will drop. He will drop quickly. Get in there before he does. Processing plant. Which requires, or has, Pac-Man lookalikes. Collect what I assume are scissors. Some items are quite difficult to tell what they actually are. But 
But again, quite a tricky level. We don't want to be killed by a Pac-Man look-alike. Now you get conveyor belts. Make sure... Yeah. Right. I don't know what I was going to say there. I ended up not saying anything. Right. So, we've collected all the scissors. Now we head to the exit. It's flashing. This one is even higher. This one is really high in the sky. Pixel perfect jump. Right, so the flashing screen is a life. We've gone from two lives to three. Now this one is again quite tricky. We need to avoid the kangaroos. But this one has a lot of flooring that drops. We we're back to keys again. Now in that breaking down floor, we have spikes. Just to make it a little bit more tricky. So avoid the spikes and avoid the kangaroos. So far, so good. But then, Jamie, this isn't a long play. You've already done it. Already. Once already. So that's the most difficult bit done. Now we've got to try and avoid this kangaroo. Now, luckily, he's got quite a slow jump, which does help to get over enemies like that. Okay, next game is Fantasy World Dizzy. Now, a lot of people didn't like the Dizzy games. I do like the Dizzy games. However, I don't own this one, but again, I do now. So this is fantastic. Join Megastar Dizzy and the Yolk Fork in their latest adventure in Fantasy World. Incredible dragons, layers, wizards, cloud, castle, and evil king's palace of dungeons. And mysterious new worlds, volcanoes, and more incredibly playable. Take a breath, Jamie. I've played it. I have played it a long time ago. But never owned it. So thank you, James, once again. Okay, Fancy World Dizzy. Now I've played this. Not on the C64, though. Right, so what can we carry? We can carry three items? Right, we've got the. Right, okay, so we only carry a maximum of two items. Now you don't have to be the sharpest knife in the drawer, that I'm guessing you need to use the jug of water. With the fire. Don't burn yourself, Dizzy. You throw the jug of water onto the fire and the flames are quickly quenched. Right, now I've got a loaf of bread, which is stale. Now who's going to want some stale bread? I'll give it to the troll. Do you want some stale bread? Oh, a fresh green apple. Thank you. Now how bad is this rolling? You're going too much. Right. You're limited to two items. My word, I think that's probably the least amount ever in a Dizzy game that I can recall. Treasure Island Dizzy, I think you're only limited to three. That's probably going to kill me. Yeah. The rats go straight for my neck! My word, this is like Holy Grail over again, except it's a rat, not a... Not a Rabbit, do you think you'll eat the bread? A stale loaf of bread. Yes, a ravenous rat eats the loaf and runs away. Well, this is not eating my throat this time. Bye! Castle's Dungeon. So I've got an apple and a boulder. Yes, I remember this. Yes. Now, Dizzy Games... They love to have something in the water, just to make it difficult. Um, Magic Land Dizzy, there was a shark's fin, which was my least favourite screen in that game. Uh, now they got a... You can't touch the fire. Right, you were burnt by the flame. Learn the pattern. One, two, three. Oh my word. Okay, the gator has you for lunch. One, two, three. There we go. Right, so I hope I didn't need that. A wide eyed dragon. Right, I've got a heavy boulder. You find a wh the whiskey too tempting to drink, so you drink it. Oh my word, he's. 
Dizzy is tipsy. You fell in the water and drowned. Not only did I fall in the water and drown, I was tipsy, then I fell in the water and drowned. Why did you drink the whiskey? Where was the whiskey? What's he doing? You are roasted by the dragon's fiery breath. Ah, so that's what he drunk. Right, we're somewhere new. Hit the switch. You throw the lever on the... That's interesting, because that happens on Magic Land Dizzy as well, it breaks. Now, on Dizzy Prince of York Folk, you have to pick up all the cherries. In Magic Land Dizzy, you have to pick up all of the... Dot, uh, gems. What are you doing here, Denzel? You know it's too dangerous. Yes, of course. Hey, stay cool, dears. I say, I saw the king leave and thought I'd check out the castle. But Daisy and I were caught. I was thrown in the dungeons and Daisy was taken to the wizard's castle. She's always getting kidnapped. It's like Peach in Marrow. Oh, he wondered where he had gone. I'm too busy to help, but here's the rope you let me last week. Thank you. There's a coin. Don't burn yourself. I burnt myself. That's the problem with Dizzy's rolling. Right, I'm going to jump from over here, way over here. There we go. Didn't roll at all that time. I've got a brainwave. I don't know why. I've got a feeling that if you jump on his mouth, you can tie his mouth shut with a rope. One, two, three. I wonder. Yes! You nimpy tie the rope round the gator's jaws. Have some of that! I did wonder if that was the case. Give it to that dinosaur. Oh, I got spiked. What? You skewered by sharp daggers. What are you doing over there? Right, I'll do a long play of this. And hope you do better. Denzel, Dylan, Dozy and Grand Dizzy. Dizzy Daisy. Hmm. Right, I'll do a long play of that. Okay, now this is a first for Morgan Just Games. I've never said this in any of my previous videos before, but that is end of part one. This is quite a big unboxing video as there's so many games to play and unbox. And because I'm testing them, that's why it's taking a while. And that is why I've decided that this is the cutoff point. Hopefully you're enjoying it and I'll see you on part two, which will upload very, very soon. If it's already uploaded, then ignore that bit. But anyway, this is Jamie from Morgan Just Games. Please like, please comment, please share, and please do subscribe to my channel. I have a Facebook fan page, I'm on Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in more of games, you should find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon, and that will notify you of any of the videos I upload. That'd be fantastic. When I'm not doing these sort of videos, I do hammer beat making, live streams, and long plays about cheats. And also part one and part two of unboxing. I'll see you on part two. Take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya.